Hey everybody, welcome to reconvert. This is Eric and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up different widgets to your Shopify checkout if you are on Shopify Plus. If you're not on Shopify Plus, this feature is not for you. Unfortunately, Shopify only allow customizing of the checkout to Shopify Plus merchants. So let's get started. In order to edit your checkout, all you have to do is head over to the reconvert app and then head over to checkout. In here, you can see this empty state because I didn't make any customizations to my checkout yet i'm just going to click on setup widgets and that's going to take me to the reconvert flow builder let's start from left to right on the left menu you can see your pages currently as you can see there is only the checkout page but by the time you're watching this video there might be other pages in here like post purchase page thank you page or the status page cart page or product page so for now i'm just gonna select the checkout and let it go to get started let's start with conditions as you can see there is a default condition here that's going to be displayed every time no other condition is met which is also important to set up but we'll get there in a second first let's start by adding a new condition when i create the condition you can see the right menu opens up and allow you to customize my condition now for the sake of the example in this store I sell clay pots and I want to mention in my store checkout that the clay pot does not come with an actual plant inside so I'm going to call it clay pot and then for the condition itself right now we only have a specific product but by the time you're watching this video there might be some other conditions in here so as for a specific product I'm going to choose that at least one product in the cart is from this list and I'm going to search for this product. So it's going to be the clay pot. I'm going to select it and edit. You can select multiple products and then I'm just going to save my condition. And as you can see, my condition has been added. At least one product in the cart is from this list and if I hover, I can see my clay pot. And then let's move on to the main area of the page. This is the checkout slots. Now, what are slots? Slots are basically containers for widgets at the checkout. For each slot, you can add multiple conditions and then you can place them wherever you want within the Shopify checkout. As you can see, this is the conditions that is now selected. The clay pot i'm going to create a new slot and now the slot editor is open if you need to learn more about this slot editor you can click the help button to learn more by default a product upsell widget has been added to the slot editor but as i mentioned i don't want to upsell this product i just want to display a message a banner saying that this product does not come with an actual plant so i'm just going to click on add widget and i'm going to add a banner i'm going to place it at the top and as for the product upsell, I'm just going to delete it for now because I don't really need it. I'm going to click the title and I'm going to make it a warning. Okay, I don't need the description. We don't need it to be collapsible and yeah, it's going to be dismissible. Perfect. So this is pretty much everything that I need for this specific product. I'm going to hit save and I'm going to get back to the conditions page. So what we got here in here, we have the clay pot. Whenever someone is buying the clay pot, I want to display this banner saying that the product itself does not come with a plant and I'm going to place this slot right below the actual product. Now let's add another condition. I also have a sofa and let's say that if someone buys this yellow sofa, I want to offer him yellow pillows. So let's create that condition. I'm going to add another condition. I'm going to call it yellow sofa and I'm going to select the product. At least one product is the sofa. Perfect. So we got the yellow sofa. I'm going to add that and hit save. And as you can see, because I have a different condition, I'm going to have the first slot, which is empty for this condition. Now let's say that if someone buys the yellow sofa, I want to offer the pillows, but I want to put it at the top of the checkout. In order to do that, I'm going to create another slot. And in this slot, we're going to place the product upsell. In this case, I'm going to keep the product upsell. I'm just going to set up the product to be instead of Shopify recommendations, I'm going to set it to be a specific product. And in here, I'm going to find the pillow. Here we go, knitted throw pillows. This is the product that I wanna upsell. I'm going to select it. And let's just say that I wanna add a 15% discount. Perfect. Now that we got a 15% discount, the next thing that we can do is maybe display some sort of a title. Let's add another widget, make it a text. As for the text, we can just say, get these pillows at 15 percent all right and let's place this title right above the product upsell perfect now that i'm happy with my uh, product upsell i'm just going to save it and i'm going to go back to my flow editor as for the logics 
For each slot, we're going to go condition by condition from top to bottom. And the first one that is going to be met, that's the one that we're going to display. So now let's say that either way, for both cases, I want to add a different location at the bottom of the checkout. I want to display a product upsell that's going to show in each cases. And for each case, it's going to offer the same product purchased at an additional discount. The way to go about it would be to go to the default condition. And then I'm going to create a third slot. And in this slot, I'm just going to keep it right as it is. Just going to change the title to get one more at 10%. This is just an example. And I'm going to set up a discount for 10% So I'm going to save it. And as for the product settings, I'm going to set it up to just display the same product purchased at an additional discount. Perfect. So I'm going to keep this saved. So now we basically have three conditions. We have the yellow sofa. If someone is buying the yellow sofa, they're going to see the pillows. If someone is buying the clay pot, we're going to show the banner saying that it's coming without an actual plant. And then we got the default condition that we have another slot displaying the same product purchased at an additional discount. Now, as far as logic goes, whenever the order comes in, we're going to go slot by slot. As you can see, we have three slots showing up in all three conditions. Conditions. Whenever a new checkout begins, we're going to go slot by slot. And then for each condition, we're going to check if the condition is met. If it's met, we're going to display the slots that are being shown in that condition. And if the condition is empty, we're going to move on to the next condition and display so on and so forth. The last step that we need to perform is actually placing the slots in the different position within checkout. I'm going to click on this link that's going to take me to the Shopify editor. So let's start with the clay pot. We've set up the banner to be in slot one so i'm just gonna pick slot one and then i'm going to place it in the relevant area for me i want to put it right in the order summary below the items in cart because i think this one is relevant in there maybe even above the summary perfect then for the second slot this is going to be the pillow upsell i'm going to select second slot it's already at the top of the checkout so i'm going to keep it in here and then for the last one this is going to be the upsell that displays the same product purchased with an additional discount i think i'm going to place it at the bottom of the checkout right above the continue to shipping button so i'm going to use a slot three and i'm going to place it right down here above the continue shipping button i'm going to hit save now, as you can see, I only see one product right now, only the same product purchased with an additional discount because Shopify picked this product as the product at checkout. Now we're actually going to go to the store and I'm going to show you a live demo of how the conditions work in real life. Okay, so I'm in my store. As you can see, we have a bunch of products here. Let's start by getting the plant pot. And in this pot, I should be able to see two things. I should see an upsell of the same product purchased with an additional 10% discount if I want to get another one. And I should also see the banner telling me this one comes without an actual plant. So let's click on buy now. Perfect. This pot does not come with a plant and I can see that I get the same product purchased with an additional discount. It's set up to be the most expensive product. Now let's check another combination of products. Let's head back to the catalog and now I'm going to look for the yellow sofa. Let's find it. And here is the yellow sofa. I'm going to buy it. And now what I should be able to see is a combination of everything. We should see an upsell of the same sofa. Again, if I want to get another one for 10% off, I should be able to see for the plant pot, the banner that is showing up in there but I should also see the specific condition that if I buy the sofa I'm going to be able to see an upsell for the pillows at the top of the checkout let's check it out perfect I'm gonna go to cart see I have the clay pot and I got the yellow sofa let's check out and as you can see I have the banner telling me that the clay pot comes without an actual plant. I can see here the actual upsell for the needed throw pillows at 15% off and I see the yellow sofa in here. Now, in case I will remove the clay pot, the banner should disappear because it's irrelevant and it's only for that condition. Perfect, now I only have these two upsells for the yellow sofa and for the needed throw pillows. Now let's check the last case where we have none of these two products. In this case, I should only see, if I take, let's say, these pillows, the brown throw pillows, if I get those, I should only see the upsell for the same product purchased and an additional discount. Perfect. 
So this is pretty much how the reconvert flow builder works. It's going to get much better as we go. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to a live chat support at the bottom right corner of the screen. We are available for you 24 seven. Thank you for watching and good luck customizing your checkout with reconvert in 2024 and moving forward. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.